Miyachi Unitec model UB25 linear DC resistance welding controller. All your functions are here on the front. On the rear are the connections, I'll, I'll show you those. And the all the control and waveforms and everything you want to see is up here in the, in the display. It's 115 volts, 15 amps for the unit. Puts out up to a, a, a one, a one kilowatt or one kilo, kilo amp. Um, has cables coming off the back here. I do not have the proper head that this would normally be connected to. So I have these electrodes here and I'm going to use uh, two stainless steel washers and put them between the electrodes and then I'm going to initiate a weld and that's all it takes, it's a very fast thing and if we look over here now, you can see that the two washers are joined. On your control here, you have schedules. Those are your profiles. You can press on that, scroll through different possible profiles to select one you want. Profile number zero is a scratch pad, and then you can save them to uh, any number up to 99 profiles. Your run and menu buttons are here, and your weld, no weld is here. So if you wanted to be safe, you would put it in no weld. Go to your menu, and in the menu you can see you have many choices, and you can either use the up and down arrow keys or you can select the number for instance if I want to do setup I can press number one and it goes into the setup and scroll through if there are different uh, options that you can have this has the ability to monitor voltage resistance um, or amperage and you have different options to, to hook it up to the welding uh, accessory head that you would have uh, for starting the runs, uh, initiating um, automatic runs or manual runs, whatever. Up here you can see your welding profile. This has the ability to do single or double profile. Uh, you would have your squeeze time and to change that you click on the squeeze, you can see this is highlighted, and we could change that to another number. Whenever you hit run, it would, it would uh, save it. Your ramp up time, your weld pulse time, your ramp down time, cool, up, and if you had a second, uh, this is just if you had a second pulse, you would enter those things here, and then your hold time at the end. Okay. On the back here we have your voltage sensing cable that goes to uh, to the head and your your uh, firing cable here. This is your emergency stop. It's, it's jumpered out and this is a communications. Uh, it has a jumper in it. These are both explained in the manual. Uh, these will come with it and other connections uh, if you had those accessories. Your on or off switch for the whole unit is right here on the right side of this uh, silver can. And your main power is in here. As I said, it's 115 or 15 amps. Your output terminals are here, plus and minus.